everybody what a lovely day it is again really lovely isn't it jesse starting the vlog a little bit later on today guys um only because <clears throat> well for one i'm absolutely knackered <laughs> and second i just wanted to get bits done first around the house by that i mean just the living room and then start the vlog fresh with a fresh room kind of i've lost the hoover attachment that actually like makes the hoover work and I don't know where it is. I don't know how I can lose something in this house but I can't find the hoover attachment so that's the hoover there. The top part with the battery in I have no idea where it is. Last time I used it was in the bedroom it's not there. I have no idea. I've tried ringing Jimmy. It's not answering. So if you watched last night's vlog I don't think I mentioned much about Jess what time Jesse went to bed last night um, but he went to bed really late it was about half past 10 he went to bed i did try to take him up twice before that because he, he, he looked like he was tired he was crying so i took him up to bed wasn't having any of it so he ended up going down at half past 10 and i thought this might mean you know he gets up a little bit later i don't think that means anything to be honest because half two um it wasn't even crying it was half two i woke up and he was just sat up in the cot like flapping his arms and stuff and you know crawling about just playing with himself and um, so I went into him tried to settle him back down he went back to sleep for a minute not even that and woke back up again and then he started to cry um, getting really fussy wouldn't have any milk um, so I brought him back in bed with me and Jimmy he didn't go back to sleep until just after three so he was up for about 40 minutes um, so obviously I was up with him that whole time he ended up just staying in, in with me and Jimmy and then he got up about six half six this morning um blowing raspberries in my face i think he ended up going back to sleep or we didn't get out of bed until quarter past seven so it's been um, another early start i am quite tired but we've got a day at home today which is um i'm really looking forward to actually because i've said this in the other vlog i love being at home it's my favorite place to be so i'm glad we just get to stay at home today and just have a chill i'm just gonna leave jesse in his sleep so all day because it's nice and comfy in that and i'm just gonna stay in my pajamas all day so we got up this morning came downstairs obviously <laughs> um i've just finished my vlog off and things and then i can't remember what time it were it must have been nearly nine o'clock maybe just before he was getting really unsettled crying it's not like him at all to be like that by the way he's very much a, i've always said this is he's very chilled um if he wants to go to sleep he'll go to sleep um but he was just being so unsettled i was giving him milk it wasn't settling him i was giving him his dummy it wasn't settling him um he was downstairs on the sofa that's where he used to have his naps before i took start taking him up to his cot um it took him about 40 minutes to to get settled he was absolutely knackered like his eyes were going like so much so i thought maybe he wants to have a play I tried to let him have a play wasn't any of that he managed to finally settle down and then i ended up taking him up to his cot and he's just had about I don't know half an hour 40 minute nap um so it is nearly 10 o'clock now yeah he's been down for about 40 minutes i'd say so i took advantage i've not got much done but i've got the living room all tidied because it was a right state this morning it was really bad um so i've managed to just give him the give the living room a freshen up i just really wanted to hoover it but i can't find the attachment anywhere um and then obviously i've just brought him some toys out for him to play with which he's actually been playing with up until now what's the hope hey what's up jesse boy so yeah i don't know what's up with him i mean he's absolutely fine now but um he's just been a little bit unsettled like the past two nights he's been a little bit unsettled <laughs> you're fine he has been more unsettled than usual though um he is going through leap six at the minute so that obviously that can, might have something to do with it too but jesse today is a big day for mummy it's probably going to be one of the best days of my life. I'm kidding. <laughs> That's too far. The best day of my life when Jesse was came, came into my life. The day you were born, even though mummy were in pain. So, my blind's getting delivered. Ah! I can't wait. I honestly, I think I might cry when that blind gets put up on the wall, the window. What's well, so, up? But you're not excited about the blind? Mummy's been waiting for him for ages. I ordered it on Monday. Our next day dispatch on Tuesday. I got dispatched Tuesday. It's getting delivered today uh, between 2 and 4 o'clock. But Jimmy is on a job all day. He's not even going to be done until like 6, half 6 tonight. So you know what I'm like. I'm just going to have to wait for him to come back because I can't I can't put it up. 
Um, I think he's got all his drills and all his tools and everything in the back of his van anyway. So, mummy can't put it up, can she? But I am so excited, I cannot tell you, that tonight we're going to have a blind up in the living room. <laughs> How exciting! How exciting! Yay! Happy dance! <laughs> I just, I am praying I have ordered the right size for the blind. <laughs> because it's made to measure so you you measure it yourself um, and I was the one who's done it <laughs> but like I've said when I ordered them I've paid for um, a sure fit guarantee so I can send them back and get another set if they are wrong I just hope they're not but um, I followed all the guidelines and everything for how to measure them so I'm hoping it'll be alright I'm pretty sure it, I will have done it okay surely I will have um, I was supposed to be going out for breakfast this morning with my friends but I'm actually not anymore um, I'm just staying at home now. I've had some scrambled egg on toast, made that myself, had a coffee, I've got some Rubicon because that is my favourite drink now, ever. It's so refreshing when it's freezing cold. And I'm currently sat in um, carpet freshener. What is it? The doctor carpet thing. Because um, Jessie spilled Rubicon all over the carpet last night. My fault for leaving the cup on the floor. And I've uh, just remembered I've wiped it up this morning with the scrubber doctor carpet cleaner thing. And now I'm sat in it. Oops. <laughs> Today I'm just going to go with the flow. I've not got anything set in sewn. I need to take some rubbish out. I need to put that washing away because that is bad now. I've got to order some prints, some like yeah. actual photo prints because obviously I've been, I bought those, um, <laughs> I've bought those square photo frames to go up in the living room which Jim is also putting up tonight, bless him. I would happily do it if I knew that I could do a good job but it's the fact that I would probably make a right mess. Um, because I used to do my own at home when I lived with my mum and dad, I used to put my own pictures up, but I don't know, I just, I don't do it. Jimmy does it like really, really clever and I don't know. Jimmy's one of those people, dads, like my dad can just do anything. Um, like he built a shed in our back garden once, my dad just randomly built a shed. And he's like one of those dads that you could text him at two and say, can you do this and he'd know how to do it. Jimmy's like that. Jimmy can just like do anything. <laughs> like DIY wise I mean you know like putting stuff I know it's only putting a picture up on the wall but I mean like in terms of other things he just knows how to do stuff like well as well so I'm just leaving him to do it um I asked him to do the photo frames last night but he said no he said I'll do them tomorrow for you I promise and then I told him the blind was coming he went so you want me to put the blind and the photo frames up on that yes please oh he's ringing me now hopefully he knows where this over attachment is he says it's upstairs, but I've already looked there, but maybe I didn't look good enough. So I'll have another look. But I can't do it now anyway because you're down here and you don't like the hover. Do you? Jessie, we're having a home day today and you get to play with your... Well, I said play with your toys. You get to play with the candles all day. <laughs> you're not allowed in. You're not allowed in them candles anymore. Oh, and I'm also just catching up on Love Island because I've missed the last two nights. Um, so I'm just catching up on that. I didn't watch last night's on purpose because I didn't watch the night before. So just catching up on both of those and then I can hopefully sit down and chill and watch it tonight, which um, will be nice. Oh, I'm gonna stop chatting. My bum now is absolutely wet through from sitting on this carpet thing. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm gonna have to change my bottoms. Um, I'm gonna get off because I'm gonna edit my vlog. It's 10 o'clock and I'm going to edit my vlog for tomorrow so that it's done. Because I always, I'm having to upload my videos in the morning because I'm always leaving it till the last minute or if I'm out all day like I was yesterday, I don't have a chance to do it. And then I have to upload it that morning onto YouTube and for some reason it's taken absolutely ages to upload a video onto YouTube recently. So I, I apologise if the videos have been going up a little bit later. It really annoys me when that happens because... I hate to be like, you know, all over the place with it. I'd l I just want them to go up at nine o'clock every morning. But anyway, first world problems. <laughs> I'm gonna get off. I am in a really good mood this morning. I should be every morning. I've got nothing to be upset about. Um, but it's the sun, just makes me dead happy. So I'm gonna get off. Jessie's gonna have a play, aren't you, Jessie boy? Yeah. And we're just gonna have a lovely day chilling at home. Well, so far, so good. He hasn't even gone over to the candles, which is actually a record breaker <laughs> it's usually the first thing goes to so I've only put him a few out because I think that's what's best I'm not sure I have a very tired little boy this morning he is not in the best of moods <laughs> he's been asleep for about half an hour now so he must be really tired from last night bless him so little man has only just kind of woke up for the day and what time is it it is just gone one o'clock 
Um, so obviously he fell asleep on here next to me. Woke up, but when I said woke up, he was like basically still sleeping. Um, so I picked him up, put him in my arms and he fell back to sleep again. And I also had a, you know, like when you shut your eyes, when you know you're awake, it was that kind of sleep. It was literally for like 15 minutes. Um, and now he's woke up. I think he's feeling a little bit better. Yeah. Have you caught up on sleep now? But he is definitely feeling it after going to bed late and then waking up early this morning and at half two this morning, bless him. So I think he's just been trying to catch up. He still looks a little tired to be honest, but hopefully now he will stay awake. I was getting a bit worried thinking, is he poorly? But I think he's fine. I think he's just uh, catching up from sleep, aren't you? So I can't, I don't know where the day has gone. Honestly, it's one o'clock. Don't know how that's happened. Um my blind is getting delivered between half two i think and half four so i cannot wait i think i'm gonna have to get it out of the box though because i'm just gonna have to and i'm gonna have to put it up against the wall the window just to see if it does fit please pray for me i hope it does and um, i also mentioned in yesterday's vlog that i'm getting a new car which is so exciting i haven't had a call today so um i'm gonna <laughs> If they've not rang by later on, I'm just going to give them a call and just see what is happening because they've asked me if I want to, the, no, they've asked me to choose a registration number. Um, so I remember that when I got my first car, they asked me to choose my registration number and I was so excited thinking, I'm going to get one saying Olivia. Obviously that's not the case. Like the, the ones they give you to choose from are just very rare that you're going to find like <laughs> your initials on or something. Um, and we should pay for a private one i once looked for a private reg for one that looked like olivia it was twelve thousand pound how bad is that that's ridiculous um but yeah I, i'm not having a private registration number um because i once saw one with my initials on or less but i thought what if i get married but then again is that gonna happen anytime soon probably not <laughs> anyhow little man you are looking at me so angelic you look like a little angel don't you a little peter you will love peter don't you Mum and Dad brought him this back from Whitby and he absolutely loves it. You love it, don't you? You dropped it out of the pram so many times yesterday that I did think we were going to lose it. I don't know whether to crack on with any jobs or not. I'm just enjoying having a lazy day with Jesse and not doing anything. It's so lovely. And I am so tired and I wish I could go and have a big nap in bed, but I can't, unfortunately. It's okay because hopefully that means I can get an early night tonight. We did have an earlier night last night. Um, it was still late-ish. It was about half ten, eleven last night. But that's actually early, early for us. Uh, in fact, it wasn't half ten because that's when Jesse went to bed. It was probably about eleven-ish. But that's been early compared to the previous nights that we've been having. So popping tonight could be a little bit earlier. Um, I finished my vlog, which is unheard of finish my vlog for tomorrow I normally would leave it until the last minute but it's all done so that tonight I can just have a relaxing night with Jim even though I think we're going to do a phone shop um I want to get some bottles of water in again because I loved having the bottles of water in the fridge I don't know if I mentioned that in when I did the last food shop but I bought some bottles of water and it was just so nice to have in the house I want to get some in because tomorrow's obviously going to be 30 degrees and Jimmy's at home tomorrow he's not working tomorrow so um <laughs> I don't know I, I said do you want to go out but I don't think he'll want to because Jimmy's really bad with heat really bad and plus Jesse is obviously going to be very warm so I don't know what we're doing tomorrow um I have no idea but I thought I'd get some waters in we've not had the heating on for about two weeks um so I'm hoping our bill for next month isn't ridiculous um because we've not had the heating on for like two weeks now it's been like fine in the house to not have it on which is amazing we go away again in two week two week on saturday um and this has been booked for ages now uh it's not abroad is it we're not going abroad until next year yeah <laughs> uh so we're going away two week tomorrow and then we go away again two week after that but these have been booked since <laughs> i was pregnant um so under the booking name for jesse obviously he, we booked on whilst I was pregnant. Um, he's under Theo still for both bookings. <laughs> the first holiday, yep. Yeah, the first, you can see he's still so tired. The first holiday we're going with my family. The second holi holiday we're going with Jimmy's mum and his brothers. Yes, and I can't wait. I'm so 
so excited. I am so excited. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to think if Jesse. This is a really awkward time to be buying him new clothes because, like, when is it? Gonna, <laughs> when is he going to be ready for the nine to twelve? But then I don't want to buy him six to nine summer stuff because he's not going to be in it two minutes. So dilemma. I don't know what to do. It's like a really awkward stage when they're really in between sizes. Yeah, no. You are so happy now. Makes mama happy. You want some milk? Who <gasps> wants some milk? Who oh, wants some milk? <laughs> oh. One more smile to the camera. Say so, bye, guys. Bye bye, Jesse. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> no, not on my face. <laughs> so, Daddy's just rang and he, he's finished work early, Jesse. He's finished work. I wasn't expecting Jimmy to be home until about six o'clock tonight. So it's um, quarter past two and he's on his way home. He's just rang me and asked if I want a drink from Starbucks. So um, I said in yesterday's vlog, I had the strawberry refresher yesterday, which is lovely, but I wanted to try the lime one. So he's bringing me the lime one home to try. So I'm excited to try it. Um, the man's here, you know, for the, what's it called? What's it called when they come round in that van and they call for stuff? Scrap, like Scrap Man. I wondered what it were, he's just speaking through Tannoy thing. So I'm excited to try that and have a nice refreshing drink. And that also means he's gonna be home when my blind gets delivered. Oh, well, sorry, our blind. Our blind, can you hear him? What's that? What is it? Me and Jesse have had the, had the ultimate lazy day. This camera is annoying me because it's not focusing on anything I want it to focus on. I think I've no idea still how to use it. Me and Jessie have had such a lazy day, but I've absolutely loved it. It's been so lovely. Um, and I was going to tidy the house when Jimmy got home later and obviously he's coming home now. Uh, so I need to just clear some stuff up in the kitchen. Um, we've got loads of cardboard to take to blue bin. So I hope it's blue bin collection tomorrow because we are desperate for that blue bin to be collected. Uh, just been watching Lydia Millen all morning. I've caught up on my Love Island. I'm feeling good. My vlog for tomorrow is uploading onto YouTube. So I'm feeling very organised today and I'm absolutely loving it. And Jesse is, I don't know, he's, um, he's good. But he's still getting a little bit upset and I don't know why. But like I said, he is in the leap six. So it might just be that. Right, the man of the house is home. Jimmy, he brought me this home. It's lovely. Jimmy doesn't like it, but I do. Um, I know, but I mixed it after you tried it. So I think because I've mixed it, it's better. It's very bland though. It could just be for me hay fever. It is not lying when it says it's a refresher. It is very refreshing. It tastes like a drink you'd get at a spa. A spa? Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's really nice. I really like it. Um, it's about to put my photo frames up for me. I didn't even have to ask him. He just said, I'll put your photo frames up for you if you want. <laughs> Where the cone of shame. Cone of shame. What for? What have I done? For drinking that. <laughs> Making me pay £5 for that rubbish. <laughs> that was not £5. £4.25 it was. For a small? Oh, yeah. That's a medium. That's not a medium. That is a medium. 100%. Live small's a tiny. That, that's oh, grande, yeah, true. Grande. Yeah, grande. That's large, isn't it? I oh, know. It says GR cool lime. Grande's the large. No, Vince is the large one. What's small? I don't know. Yeah, a small one. A small's are called tall. That's so stupid. Tall. Why would they call a small tall? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Tall, grande, and venti. That's the most confusing thing ever. That looks very small to me. But anyway, back to the point, it is yes, really nice. Used anyway, we're gonna crack up. Well, Jimmy's gonna crack on. <laughs> and put these picture frames up for me. Hello, I'm a level. Camera time makes me weird. What? I don't know. Camera Hello, I'm a, Hello I'm a level. Hello, I'm a level. Weirdo. <laughs> Get it off me. <laughs> Jesse, I'm gonna take you out of that sleep suit, boy, because it's absolutely boiling. Isn't it? You've been such a good boy playing with your toys. Straight after at level. That's mine. <laughs> oh my god! It's here! The blind! Jesse! I am so excited for me! I'm so excited! I literally ran to that door when I heard him knocking on the door. What's up, baby boy? Hey! 
whistle. <laughs> oh, are you wanting some cuddles? Come here then. I literally ran to the door when I heard him knock. I am so excited, Jesse. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, Liv, I'm just nipping out for a couple of hours. You can get lost. <laughs> what? You can get lost. What? Jimmy, I've been waiting nearly a year for these blinds and I've only ordered one. <laughs> <laughs> waiting a year. I guy. just, I really, really hope it fits. It's not been a year. Jimmy, as we got the keys end of July, yeah, so we basically it's been a year. Well. We ain't moving until September, but still we could have got blinds. What's up with Jesse boy? I honestly don't uh. see the problem with having towels up. I <laughs> see the massive problem with having towels up. <laughs> <laughs> because in bedroom, we can't, like, oh, we can't have lighting through day because uh. you have to take the towel down and then uh. reapply it later on when we go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, it though. terrifies me looking through that window on a night time. Which one? That one there. Because I can see into her garden and she's got flashing lights and it's making me think there's someone there. That's the only reason I've gone for that one because I think that'll make, look, make the downstairs room look more put together. Should we get it out then and have a look? Yeah, come on, Nicky. I'm not oh. even convinced it's going to fit. Listen, don't doubt me. I think you've measured it though. How did you measure it? With tape measure. It told me how to do it online, Jimmy. No, how did you? What, like, what did you measure to? On the inside, inside. yeah, yes, so I did it three times down because that's what it said, round it to the lowest one and three times long ways. Right, so we're just about to put it up and realised these, <laughs> the blind catches these on the way down and I didn't even think about it. What a nightmare, but we're going to put it up anyway um, and we're just going to have to adjust it when we put it up and down, which is a bit annoying, but if I were to measure it there, I don't think it'd fully cover the window so I didn't even think about it so Jimmy's gonna pop it up now and hopefully it's gonna be all right Hi. it's up oh my goodness I absolutely love it love it love it love it I'm just hoping these bits here drop out <laughs> oh did you throw that at me <laughs> we've took Jessie's um, vest off and everything because it is warm isn't it um so yeah I absolutely love it just off to Tesco now because I'm gonna get some ice lollies Oh, get me some aloe vera vessels as well. Yeah. Um, little man is very unsettled today. He's never like this, are you? So I'm not sure what's up. I don't know if it's because of the heat. Because he's not used to it. Um, but I don't know. Should we try and a bit more milk? That's what he wanted. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to Tesco now. Get us some ice lollies and some water in. Come back, hopefully give it a clean the house. And then we can get settled down for Love Island tonight. Are you watching it with me? Some it? twisters as well. Some twisters. Yeah. It's gonna be a big ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm back from Tesco's. Um, Jesse is in bed. It's about twenty to eight, so much earlier than last night, which I'm glad about because I'm not gonna lie, it's been not a difficult day, but more difficult than usual. He's been really unsettled all day, um, crying at like the littlest thing, um, and he's not usually like that. So. Um, it's not been hard work but it's just been a lot more difficult than it usually has been which is why I've probably not filmed as much just because he's not been his usual happy self that he normally is. I managed to get him to sleep though he was so tired but again he was just fighting it so much Um I'd never force him to go to bed at a certain time but you know when you know that they're tired I knew he was tired, his eyes looked so tired, he was rubbing his eyes, he was crying and I was like, so I took him upstairs and he just wasn't having any of it but I knew he was tired and obviously he was because he's gone to sleep now. Um, the weather is just unbelievable, it's so warm, so clammy, um, so I've, I've actually, um, because it's it says it's 25 degrees in his room at the minute and um, it says that that should be a vest and a 0 0.5 tog bag. Sorry guys, my camera ran out of charge midway through speaking. Like I said, Jess has not been his usual happy self. Hopefully tomorrow's a little bit better. I think it's because of he didn't get much sleep last night. But he's been in bed since, I can't remember what time I said he went to bed. Um, but he's been in bed since. He woke up once, but I won't say it was really woke up. I think he was still asleep, bless him. He sat up in his cot and he was just like wobbling from side to side and Jimmy put him straight back down to sleep and he's gone straight to sleep again, but it is still absolutely boiling and I've, I don't know why, I've been in the shower. I have, Another reason I've not fully vlogged is because I really wanted to get settled for Love Island, so you'll be pleased to know, oh, look at me blind, uh, that I've put all the washing away that was on here. I've tidied the kitchen and I've tidied the living room. Uh, well, 
it's a bit of a mess now because we've had dinner. Um, I got in the shower and I sat down and just watched Love Island. It's just gone off now. Um, and I am really tired. Really tired. Um, so I'm going to go up to bed soon. But I'm absolutely loving our blind. It's like it's always been here. <laughs> so look at it. It's so pretty. I love it. I'm still contemplating whether to get some curtains for the conservatory door here just because I think it will then definitely make it nice and cosy and homely but I am not thinking about doing that anytime soon. <laughs> I do want a trip to Ikea at some point in the next few weeks. It won't be next week, it'll probably, probably be the week after. But yeah, I am feeling the tiredness now, it's definitely hit me Um, I am ready for bed. So I actually think I'm just going to tidy the things away from dinner, get myself upstairs, Jimmy's just in the bath, and get into bed. And hopefully Jessie has a good night and doesn't wake up at half past two. <laughs> I really hope not. Um, and tomorrow, we, oh, Jimmy's not working tomorrow, but I've said, I messaged him, I said, what can we do tomorrow that won't mean we're absolutely like boiling? Because I want to go out and do something as a family, but... I don't know if we'll be able to cope in that heat because we've barely coped today. It's been, well, you'll probably all know how warm it's been, but it's going to be even warmer tomorrow. And then on Saturday it's raining all day and I'm supposed to be at two parties on Saturday with Jessie. Um, so hopefully they still go ahead. <laughs> and then on Sunday, obviously, it's Father's Day. We've got something nice planned for Father's Day for Jimmy, which I'm looking forward to too. I don't know what the uh, weather's going to be like on Sunday. But I'm sorry about today's vlog. I, I can't, don't even know what I've filmed, if I'm being honest with you. But um, it's just been, it's been a nice day, just been trying to sort that blind out. <laughs> I didn't film Jimmy putting the blind up because it was a bit stressful, I'm not going to lie. It was one of those situations where I just wanted to, where I thought, right, I need to stand back here and I need to not say anything. Otherwise he's going to fly off wall. <laughs> it will, it weren't hard to put up, but it was just a bit fiddly and, you know, measuring things. He says he's going to put my photo frames up for me tomorrow, so that's good. Um, I'm actually, might go up to bed. <laughs> me thinking of more stuff to do when I'm knackered um, I think I'm going to go up to bed and have a look at ordering the photos for the square photo frames that I've got going up but anyway for the details for the blind I got it from Blinds Direct um, they're actually only 20 minutes away from me but yeah I got it from Blinds Direct it's in the colour Pebble Grey I'm pretty sure we got it in Supreme Blackout um, so that like totally blocks everything out so yeah, do, uh, Pebble Grey in Supreme Blackout, they're made to measure, so you just measure, there's a guide online how to measure the blind, you measure it three times across, three times down and like round up to the nearest something, I don't know, uh, type in your measurements online, it gives you a price um, and you order them basically, the only thing, <laughs> I mean I did mine very quickly, uh, the delivery for next day dispatches out of this world, it's £20. And I didn't realise that until I actually re looked back on my invoice. So that for the blind itself, it was £36, which is pretty good. For a Supreme Blackout, you can get ones cheaper than that. I just wanted it to block out everything, basically. Um, so you can just get a regular blackout and then you can just get like a standard, you know, a standard blind. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Night! Full stop. Can't believe I live in your